Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Group 13 presentation and our final year project involves investigating the affordances, usefulness and usability of free and open source learning management systems. The presenters are Mwangalanzila, Chengo Mapuma, Macmillan Hamamba, Moses Mabunga and Musa Sifukwe. Introduction, LMSs are defined as software systems that are designed to assist in the management of educational courses for students, especially by helping teachers with and learners with course administrations. LMSs have become the main platform for contact and completing most course-related activities such as managing institutional content, making presentation, administering quizzes, and many more problem statement. The University of Zambia has adopted three force LMSs to enable its online course administration possible. These are Canvas Overview, Moodle, and Google Classroom. However, it is not clear how the university is coping up using these platforms. In terms of what features, challenges, and platform staff members find easy to use. The aim of this study is to investigate and evaluate popular LMSs in order to answer the earlier questions about affordances, usefulness, and usability of the LMSs. Research objectives. Free and open source learning management system offer a number of key attributes and features, but how are these features related to the teaching and learning processes. The key objectives to our study are to investigate the teaching and learning features available in the popular force LMSs, two, to evaluate the usability of each of the force LMSs, three, to comparatively determine the perceived usability and usefulness. In order to achieve our objectives, we came up with the following questions, but one, what features are available in each of the force LMSs? Two, how is the usability and usefulness of the LMSs perceived? Three, what is the end user evaluation of these LMSs? Hi everyone, I'm Musa and I'm going to do the related work. Our related work is composed of two units. There is unit 2.1, which is the usefulness of learning management system, which is composed of two articles. Article 1 states as follows. Polis 1 conducted a study on the usability of learning management system and such as Moodle and asserts that Moodle has been classified among the best online learning management system available in this era and that it is very easy to conduct an online course using Moodle. Ali and Bambas investigated the usefulness of Moodle at Moon University for their learning activity. The outcome of the survey indicated that uh, teachers had a direct impact on their perceptions about the usefulness of Moodle for their study. On the other hand, Unit 2.2 is composed of two articles as well. Article 1 articulates as follows. Once upon a time in 2016, a study was conducted to evaluate the usability and accessibility of learning management system software at King Saud University. Different learning management systems were evaluated on average. The results showed that Many teachers were in support of the use of Blackboard learning management system for their teaching activity. CESA Kubo 2 employed the user testing method to evaluate the usability in terms of registering for their different learning management system and uploading assignments. He further concluded that user did not face usability problems while registering for Blackboard. On the other hand, the result showed that uh, half of the students faced with difficulties while submitting assignments. My friend Moses will continue from where I end. Uh, thank you so much. So take it up from where my colleague has ended. I'll talk about the theoretical framework. And under this theoretical framework, we have got three theories, behaviorism, uh, cognitism, and uh, constructism. Under this behaviorism, we find that new behavior it is introduced in the learning management uh, system where uh, where the shaping process ha takes place and this take, uh, shaping process refers to the use of positive reinforcement to reward those successful approximation to the desired behavior. It is through the use of quizzes and assessment feature of like, the learning management system where learners are presented with questions and are required to give, uh, to provide or to give answers. And the second one, I'll talk about constructism. Under constructism, 
we have got a um, model structure and many learning management system allows the organization to arrange their content in sequencing into units and of collection um, and collection are uh, easily done and based on this constructism uh, distinctive media as uh, things such as text graphic are uh, thought to be processed different during the learning management uh, system process and the last I'll talk about the constructism and many researchers have considered this as education technology uh, role in the demonstration that enhance instruction and facilitate facilitating a uh, learning ma managing as uh, ma learning management system and through the discussion journal assessment uh, tools uh, in uh, that available in learning, in learning management system, the constructivism uh, theory is considered to be effective. Uh, thank you. I'll allow my friend to take it up from there. My name is Macmillan Hamamba. This research is going to employ the mixed methods approach which combines the qualitative and the quantitative approaches. In order to answer our first research question, we are going to choose a team of five faculty staff members each will be tasked to interact with one learning management system, critically examine its features, then thereafter give a review containing the various teaching and learning features available on that LMS. In order to answer our second research question, a user experience questionnaire will be given to the participants, which consists of questions with a Likert scale. To answer our third research question, a user experience questionnaire too will be administered or alternatively a closed interview according to the preference of the participant. This, this research is going to be conducted at the University of Zambia and a total of 30 faculty staff members and 60 students will be selected using probability and purposive sampling. Of the faculty staff members, 15 will be male and 15 will be female. And then of the 60 students, 20 students will, uh, will each come from the various schools that we have at Onza. And then the procedure that this research will follow is that the lecturers are going to be given course content to upload and then the students are going to access that content and thereafter answer a user experience questionnaire. This research is going to um, make use of the questionnaire, which will contain questions with a Likert scale and the closed interviews for data collection. Data analysis. After collecting and gathering our data through oral interviews and questionnaires, which will be administered either physically or virtually, we will gather our data. Uh, Quantitative data will be analyzed using a statistical software called SPSS. SPSS stands for Statistical Package for the Social Sciences. This software package will help us to determine the relations amongst the data that will be collected. Our qualitative data will be analyzed using thematic and heuristic analysis. Additionally, our research is going to adhere to various ethical considerations or ethical guidelines. Key among these are as follows. We'll obey the relevant policies that the institution offers. The right and privacy of our participants will be protected. The participants will have the right to withdraw from the process either completely or partially. Project management. Our timeline is as follows. We prepared our proposal by 7th May. Our proposal presentation was ready by 28th May. We will complete sampling by 30th May. We will complete data collection from faculty by 30th July. We will complete data collection from the students by 30th August. We will gather data by 14th September. We will compile and organize our data by 29th September, we we'll analyze our data by 30th October, and finally, our complete final report will be done by 30th November. Thank you.
this was group 13 does anyone have any questions <laughs>